The nightmare is real. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Unchecked aggression in the women's division. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making our way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Judgment Day has arrived for the entire women's division. Yeah, Ripley was already a dominant competitor, but that dominance has grown exponentially since joining the Judgment Day. She's already held the NXT Women's title, the WWE Women's Tag titles, and the Raw Women's title. What could be next for Ripley? Maria Ripley looks ready to torment yet another victim. What's the matter over there, Saxton? You feeling a little squeamish? A little uncomfortable. She is quite simply the baddest. Yeah, and the competition is going to find that out in just a moment. And... From Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. And arguably one of the most highest profile signings we've ever seen in WWE. And you can thank one person for that oh signing, boy. Byron. Here we go. Stephanie McMahon. I'm looking at her right now, and I'm watching her body language, and her intimidation factor has got to be off the charts knowing she's facing Rhea Ripley. Her intimidation factor is zero. Already for Unleashed Fury in this steel cage match, what strategy can a competitor devise to increase their chances of winning? Well, if a superstar is not known for their agility, they might be best served looking to escape through the cage door because it could take a little while to get up the ropes. Great point. The superstars who rely on speed hit a flurry of offense, including the best that your arsenal has to offer, and try to get at as well. You have to find any advantage over your opponent and maximize it to have even a shot at victory. And victory is achieved when you escape and both feet hit the floor or via pinfall submission. Oh, look at the relentless assaults here. And forearms into the spine in the back. Momentum clearly on the side of Ripley. We don't often see Rousey in this position. Turns it around. Sole of the foot meets the stomach. Steel Cage offers a big advantage for anyone willing to use it as a weapon. But is there a disadvantage to the structure, too? Well, Cole, I can tell you one thing that'll be hindered by the cage, and that's any sort of speed advantage. Any and all attempts to pick up the pace are going to be confined to the ring. Bad landing. A little psychological warfare at play here from the Nightmare. Short arm lariat. And again. Oh, watch the ripcord. And a ripcord drop kick. Firm control. Oh my God. What a kick. Ronda Rousey weathering a major storm. And the upper hand belongs to Rhea Ripley. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. And Rousey caught off guard again right there. It's encouraging to see a superstar withstand the punishment of a steel cage. That said, you want to make sure you dish some out too. Rousey got countered there. Oh, taken down. Enable the counter. This has got to hurt. Go right to the midsection. 
Rhea Ripley gearing up for brutality. A helpless Rousey being targeted. Kick to the gut. Here it comes. Rhea with the riptide. Rousey was not ready for that. It could be over. We all know what she's looking to do next. Brilliant counter by Rousey. Special here tonight. Oh, the arms. Uh oh. She turns it right around with a counter. And this has got to be it. Shoulder up before the count started. Amazing effort by her. Ooh. Slips out of the way. From the middle rope. And now she's mounted on the cage, trying to scale up the wall. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. This is more than reckless abandon. This is showing a lack of all fear. Take a look back at these ladies in action. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Broken, beaten, and scarred, but they is your winner and that's about as conclusive a win as you can get in the cage to quote a pair of awesome scholars in life there are winners and there are 